Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look at the difference between get dot put and get dot lazy put. And at the end, we'll also talk about get dot put async a little bit. But anyway, so I already created my uh, sample Flutter project. So this is main.dart and I have a home page. And inside the home page, actually, for now, I have empty container. But what I did over here at the top, so right inside this main function, I have this global dot in it. And global.init actually loads two of my controllers, getx controllers. So first one is put controller, I named it, and another one I named it lazy put controller. So let's go ahead and take a look. So lazy put controller just is very simple. Uh, getx controller has a variable and on ready function. And inside this, we also have a printing method. And inside lazy put controller, actually the pretty much same, just the name changed, okay? All right, so at first part, what we'll see that over here, this will get loaded. So it'll load our dependencies, which is dependency dependency injection, okay? So it'll load this two controllers. And remember, we have this logs over here in both of them, all right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to load it, okay? I'm going to load everything, restart it. And over here, you see that it says the value input controller is one, and instance of has been created and instance of put controller has been initialized. All right, so what happens? So if you have controllers and if you wanna load them differently, one with put and one with lazy put, so with put, everything would be created and initialized immediately, including if you have any variable inside this on ready method or on init method, if you have one, so the value would be uh, initialized as well. So first, what we'll see that, the in, so the instance is created and at the same time, they have been initialized as well, okay? So that what happens with put controller, I mean, if you load your controller using get.put. Now you see, at the same time, I also loaded this one, but from here, we didn't get any message. So this is the message which came from put controller over here, right? Okay, great. So from this, we understand that if you load a controller using lazy pot, even if you globally load everything, it wouldn't get loaded. I mean, it would get loaded actually, but instance will not be created, even instance will not be initialized, okay? So that's the main difference. Now, okay, we can see much more about it from our view. Okay, for now, our view is empty over here. It's just an empty container. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out and over here, I'm going to uncomment this. All right, so here, I'm going to restart everything so, so that you get to see my view. So over here, I have this view and inside the view, I'm calling put view and a lazy view. These are two classes, stateless classes. Actually, put view, it uses put controller and a lazy view, it uses lazy put controller, the one that we created early. Now let's go ahead and load everything one more time over here. And that's what we see. So our controller has been created and initialized. All right, so that still didn't change anything actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this put view and well, we see, oh, this is the value, the value that we had early over here. So this is the new value, all right? Okay, now we can go back, all right? Nothing changes. Now let's see about lazy view. So lazy view would right now would get created and initialized, I mean the controller, okay? So let's see that. So yes, over here, we do see that it says lazy controller has been created, the instance, and then it has been initialized, yeah. All right, of course, we also see that there is a value over here, but it didn't update the UI. Now, that's another reason. Okay, so lazy, uh, if you load your controller using lazy put, it will be only used, it will be only created and initialized when you actually use it in your view, okay? Otherwise, it's not gonna do anything. It just stay in the, um, I would say in the disk, but not really in the app memory itself. It might be in the whole disk of your app uh, or the mobile phone, the where it gets initialized, but it would only be used when you directly use it somewhere. 
actually using it otherwise it'll just stay there and that's all okay all right now of course if we go back and see so we see that value is one so what happens with lazy controller we learned one thing so sorry not lazy controller lazy put so even this on ready method even if it's get cold it gets cold actually later so first this one this controller gets created and instantiated and by that time actually our view is ready so we don't get the updated value so you can get the updated value next time you can use it okay when you use it but of course if you want to force the value to be ready from the very beginning so instead of on ready you can use on in it and it would do the same but a better thing so right now here we'll see that on in it with on in it our value would be ready immediately even in with lazy put controller okay so let's go ahead and check it okay so oh yeah but the original thing didn't change so it's once again with put controller nothing changed i mean it's been created and initialized all right let's go ahead and see the value now if we cl click on lazy view we'll see that this would get printed and on the ui we'll also see the latest value all right let's let's go ahead and see that yes so that's what happened over here okay so of course on in it gets called very early so that's why we see it over there right okay great so yeah that's the basic difference between get dot put get dot uh, lazy put now if you want to use async put over here yes you could do that async put is mostly used for uh, networking okay so if you use async put that's fine but that's also for lazy loading so that no put async is used to load data that happens with future for example service storage dot init this method as you can see this method returns a future which is a synchronous method so now if you want to load anything like that that kind of controller then you have to use put async to load it because it returns the future which may delay for uncertain amount of time so to make sure that it doesn't crash to make sure that everything is ready so that's why we use using put async now another so in our case uh, actually we are dealing with shared preferences so everything would be loaded from the shared preferences so it may take some time but how much time we actually don't know even though it's fast but we don't know or if you have some database operation those operation should be saved inside getx service and then the method should return future so in that case you should use get dot put async to load and insert into the memory so that everything is safe and we'd wait until everything is done yeah so those are the basic difference between put put lazy and put async so hopefully it makes sense now as we understand these differences now actually we can go ahead and work with our signing page as well as the controllers